Beetles live everywhere, from the tropics to the Arctic and sub-Antarctic islands. Many are like living jewels. Some grow to large sizes. And in many species, the males sport all manner of strange structures used in combat with other males. And there's no shortage of species to choose from. There's more species of beetles than any other order of animals on Earth. About a quarter of all animal species on the planet are beetles, and about 40% of all insects. When the famous biologist J.B.S. Holden was asked what could be discerned about the mind of the creator from studying his works in nature, Holden replied, an inordinate fondness for beetles. They come in every shape, colour and size imaginable. These little guys here, these are Pachnoda beetles and there's lots of different species and each one has a slightly different pattern of yellow, orange, brown and black and other colours. They're very pretty. This one over here is a male stag beetle and he has really impressive front mandibles for grappling other males, just like a stag. And that's where his name comes from. And this guy over here, he shows that beetles can rival all birds and butterflies for their beauty. Just look at the coloration, the beautiful iridescence of this beetle's carapace. Absolutely stunning. Charles Darwin loved beetles so much that he recorded that while he was still quite young, he often searched for beetles. And one day, he turned over a log and spotted a really rare beetle, so grabbed it in one hand. Then, on the other side, he, he saw another beetle, and so grabbed that one with his other hand. But then an even rarer species came out from the bottom of the log, so he put one of the beetles in his mouth so he could have his other hand free and grab the third one. But the one in his mouth then bit his tongue and released an acrid liquid that burnt the inside of his mouth. So he spat that one out and lost all three as they scurried off. So poor old Darwin didn't get his beetles at the end. But Darwin, when he started exploring the tropics, soon found out that many tropical beetle species can be much bigger than the British ones. This one here would have proven to be quite a mouthful. This is the grub of the Goliath beetle, one of the biggest of all beetle species. And this one, as you can see, can almost fill your hand, it's so big. And the adults are equally impressive. Many species of beetles make really great pets. One of the easiest species of beetles to keep are these beautiful little yellow and black and brown Pachnoda beetles. And all you really need to keep those ones is a simple tank like this that you fill up with 10 or 15 centimeters of a rich woodland leaf litter mold full of leaf litter, bits of wood, bark, just rotting organic matter, which the grubs in particular really like. Then just put in a little bit of wood for the beetles to climb on and, and have a little bit of texture to explore. And then all you really need to do is put in some food. You can buy this beetle jelly, which is a really good food for them and it lasts several days. Or you can put in fresh soft fruits like bananas, mango, guava, really anything that's sweet and, and soft for them to eat.
And then you just need about 10 or 15 adult beetles to start your colony. That'll give a good mix of male and female individuals, and they'll mate and start breeding quite quickly. And each adult female will lay one, two, or three eggs a day. Those eggs will hatch in about a month or so, and they will give rise to fat, squishy, white grubs like these. These will grow for three or four months down in the substrate. You probably won't see them. They, they normally live deep down and just occasionally tug leaves and, and other bits from the surface down into their burrows. When they're ready, they'll form pupae like these. The pupae would actually be buried, but here's one to see what it's like. It's just a small brown capsule. But slowly the beetles then will, will pupate inside the pupae and metamorphosize, and then the adults will emerge and the cycle will repeat. So beetles really are great fun to keep. You can put lights on top of their cages which show the beautiful colors of these beetles in their full glory. And they're very entertaining to watch the adults bumbling around on the surface. Just remember, if you do take the lid off, most beetle species can actually fly. So if you take the lid off at the top, there is always the risk that they can fly away, and particularly in warmer weather. For more information, please visit the Weird and Wonderful Pets website, where you can download information PDFs and secure your copy of the accompanying book.